Uh-huh. Hello. And hello. 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 Sierra. Last one is a rotten egg. just finished singing You Love Me Into It and when I looked up everybody was crying and the next day we were in his studio cutting tracks and a couple weeks later it was number one in Los Angeles and just took off and three weeks after that it was it was number one all across the country you're right that wasn't very exciting at all <laughs> So wow, like if you hadn't gotten pregnant with me, you could have been like Madonna or something. Mm, but instead, we lived happily ever after. Oh, Dan. Oh, Dan. Dan. <laughs> you really don't miss it? Any of it? Well, I would like to sing, you know, in front of people. Without the fear, bad memories, that would be nice. Honey, you need to go to sleep now, okay? You've you got a big day tomorrow. Is he? I am not signing this contract. It's all boilerplate, pretty standard stuff. You're asking for seven years of Izzy's life. Jasmine, I can assure you that first and foremost, I'm concerned with Izzy's best interest. Well, you know, Dan, I think that's probably where you're lying. You're concerned with how much money she can make for you. Mom, you're going to blow it. Sierra. You know, I think, I think I'm just going to step outside and count the cracks in the ceiling or something. Let me explain something to you. I take great pride in my work. I take great pride in protecting the people that I choose to work with especially someone as young as your daughter. And I don't appreciate you judging me on standards that you've created out of your own past. I am not signing this. Why do you have to make everything so complicated? <laughs> great. Just great. Look, why don't we do this on a handshake? If either of us decide that it's not working out, we'll call it quits. We'll take it. <laughs> I want to be involved every step of the way. I want to work with Izzy alone, at least initially, with a band. Try to find her sound, her style, without any outside influences. Mom. OK, it's a deal, for now. Fair enough. Izzy, I'm going to make you a star. 
Now, Joan, you say you were justified in shooting your cousin Lynette. Why is that? This bitch was cheating on me with my cheating with my Are you cousin. Are you talking? Uh -huh. So, you're just going to sit here and eat and pout all day, is that it? Yeah, I'm just getting really good now. You know why? Joan there in prison's crying her eyes out. Oh, yeah, because she's in prison. No, no, no. She's crying because she caught her husband, Billy Ray, cheating with her double first cousin, Lynette. Why? They always have to be from the South, making us look bad. Oh, they really combed the trailer park for this one. That's Lynette. She's the one with the tooth missing in the front. She has no dental insurance. And she's sitting next to Billy Ray, who used to be her husband. Who's sitting next to John? Well, I think... Okay. This pity party's officially over. Come on, get dressed. You look like Lynette. Oh, oh my God, look. Okay, well, there it is. Pull up, pull up. Right here. Right here? Right here? Yeah. Oh, yes. oh Lord. Flush of memories just rushed all through my body. Little goosebumps. Swing's still there. Mm -hmm. You want to take a swing? We could. Someone lives there. Oh, come on, there's no cars in the driveway. Come on. Do <laughs> you remember when Toby and I used to sit out here and write songs? We'd sing and play till that crabby old man next door used to come over. Mr. Oh, Watson up. with the big wart. Right here. He was <laughs> so crabby. Oh, my God. He was. Oh, and then you guys would just sing louder. <laughs> Remember that? We were awful. <laughs> oh, Toby, Toby. I never have found that again. Don't you think you should try and look him up? We're under the bridge, Sarah. He's been reaching out to you, Jazz. When he reaches out to you every month in Rolling Stone, he puts that little ad in there just what? holding your butt. Oh, just... All right, I'm a snoop, okay? I spy. I eavesdrop. Guilty. Spy? What do you mean spy? I mean, I'd see you stashing them in your closet. How you could you I wasn't going to go through them all and figure it out. I'd, well, there's a mirror across from the cabin. God, you are unbelievable. Okay, I did it out of concern for Izzy. Oh. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's fair what you're doing to that child. You're not even giving her the choice. This is none of your concern. And that child deserves to at least have the choice of meeting her. No, father. you listen to me. I don't want to talk about it. Damn you, Sierra!